Hello Sugarbones, this is Kuro Shiro here and we're just going to be talking about Sculptor today I guess. Um, as we can see here, we spawned in graveyard so I'm rotating towards red carpet right now to see if anyone dares to touch the cipher. I'm currently running towards fake priestess and Kedis from MRH, Zeus's team, and it's priestess and explorer. Explorer currently doing a really good job hiding while I'm chasing after the priestess right now as you can see. Lamp portal coming out. Well, not really a lamp portal, but it's a good distance of a portal. Portal coming out with a long range. And Priestess will be starting to kite now. Now then, <clears throat> uh, I guess we'll just be mainly talking about, you know, whether this game is hunter sided or survivor sided. To be honest, for me, I don't really care. Like, I, I genuinely don't care whether it's hunter sided or survivor sided, right? It's your own opinion, I don't mind. But... <clears throat> but, I will say that this game is catered towards survivors. As we can see here, this priestess is currently doing a really good job putting down the pallets, mind gaming me, and <clears throat> allowing me to waste my pallets, right? Um, right here, I got the notification bell from Explorer because he picked up the page right near me, right? As you can see here. I'm trying to find Explorer now, but <clears throat> he relooped me, which is very nicely done. And here, as we can see, we start the kite again. Now then, how long has passed? It has been 1 minute and 34 seconds and I had to change targets because this priestess has kited me for a whole minute, right? Blink is already up, let me just show. <coughs> Blink is already up and they have two ciphers done. I am at a very bad disadvantage here, right? Early game, you see me throw down my statues. I didn't do anything wrong. See, this explorer pretended I thought he was gonna vault, tricked out my statue. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do, like, I didn't make any, I don't think I made any mistake. Maybe you can say, oh, your statues weren't good enough. Well, I mean, okay, don't expect me to land on my statues. But yeah, that was the one mistake that I made right there, as you see, with the statues through the windows. Kind of panicked a little bit because there's three ciphers remaining and I'm chasing after an explorer. While, like, this is a really fast decoding team as well. That's one chip. And I messed up another chip here as well, sadly, because I panicked. <coughs> And now, I'll be, I'll just tell you guys the truth, right? Who did they ban? They banned Breaking Wheel and Geisha. They didn't even ban Bomb One. They, didn't, they did not even ban Bomb One or Geisha for this one. Three ciphers remaining, let's just see in the map here. We have one at 60%. One just started, this will be finished in 60 seconds. And this one, which is done. Basically, one and a half cipher remaining. And I'm throwing the chisel out towards Perfumer right now. Right? And back to what I was saying, uh, it doesn't, I don't really care whether you say it's hunter side or survivor side, but like, I just guess don't force that opinion onto others, whether you can kite or not, I guess. Because this team, this is a four-man team, okay? This is a four-man team. Unless I'm wrong, it's a two-duo, that's really good. But as you can see here, I missed the shot. That was beautifully done, honestly, by the Cordy. I missed the shot, she manages to... <clears throat> make me make a huge mistake right there and the cypher is nearly done as well right so i'm kind of a little bit panicking here two cyphers left they kited me for a good long time and i'm here like what should i do what should i do what should i do and that's a nice ship as you can see there and i got really lucky as well with it down here that was another really you know lucky chip explorer probably panicked but he's done a really good job already right there's one cypher remaining and it's at 70 percent it's basically a pop it's basically a pop See, it's basically a pop. Cordy got the page, so it's basically a pop. Now then, you might say, hey, Cordy made a huge mistake there. Why did he why did he or she not, you know, shoot? Well, let me give you three options Cordy could have done there. Cordy A could have immediately shoot rescue before half, which is option number one. But the only problem with that option is I'll be I'll be the one chasing her endgame. So like she wanted to either save her gun. The second option is Cordy rescues before a half, guns me, and allows Explorer to kite for an even longer time. And then the third option is basically what you saw right there. But like, as you can see here, these guys done a really good job kiting me, I won't lie. They know how to dodge statues, they know how to kite. As you can see here, survivors are at the other gate now, and you know, yeah, the dungeon was there. Right, I did not expect the dungeon there. I panicked a little bit and I was like, okay, okay, push, 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 push. See, so didn't push. Got through the dungeon. Very well played by this team. Very, very well played by this team. I will not lie. Right, but this is one of the games we played. And I guess that was just...
<coughs> that was just a small um, mistake that I made, maybe. But like, they cut it really well. They dodged my statues really well. I didn't make that much of a mistake, honestly. I didn't make that much of a mistake. But like, let me show you another one right here. Let's see. This one. This one. Yeah, it's the same team. This one. <laughs> but like, this game is catered towards Survivor. If you think about it, it, it is quite catered towards Survivor. And like, for everyone who's like, new to the game i guess <clears throat> for everyone for everyone who's new to the game i i'm not i'm not gonna say like oh well you know this is this is survivor side to deal with this but like <clears throat> it's 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 not i don't think it's that hard to kite a sculptor like even perfumer can kite you even 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 a perfumer can kite a sculptor right just my sculptor's attack animation is so slow that like you have more than enough time. You have more than enough time to react with your perfume. And like see another perfume ready hit. By this time by this point I was just like I'm just gonna keep hitting her. Why? Because I want <coughs> Because I want presents. I can't I can't go without present like last game. I didn't have presents last game when the gate opened. That was really bad for me. But you can see here, how long has passed. Blink, blink is up. Blink is up. By the time blink is up, you know it's bad. You know it's bad by the time blink is up. Look, they've decoded so much already. By the time blink is up, you know that it's very bad. Like, if you don't dare before blink, they're gonna finish the cyphers. You're like, it's gonna be a pop, pop, pop. No problem. And because tight turner exists, even if you get on chair, you can just do perform a normal rescue. And then, you know, tight turner comes out, buys you an extra 20 seconds. No problem. Which is the thing. And like, as you can see here, three ciphers probably have popped by now. I'm not gonna say they didn't, but like, my blink is up. Should have popped by now. Perfumer did- Perfumer kited well. It's, it's not a lie, Perfumer did kite really well. And like, as you- as you- as you see here, one cipher popped. Uh, someone's coming for a rescue, I don't know who just yet. But it's not Cordy, so it's de <coughs> it's definitely an Nento. Definitely Ento. <clears throat> and the fact that and the fact that how do I say this? Like Sculptor's statues seem hard to dodge, I can understand, but it's not really that difficult. And like you just do that to like counter a chair camp. And there's nothing else to do. Like for sculptor. Like you like you can just immediately come in. You can just immediately come in for the rescue, right? And and like you wouldn't get terror shocked. Because of Sculptor's slow attack animation, you can probably even make her mid hit a chair. But yeah, there you go. Perfectly rescued against a Sculptor. No damage done. Literally. Like, literally. But you can see here, I'm still chasing after the Perfumer. I'm start I start to panic a little here as well, because... <coughs> if I don't down her fast enough, they're gonna pop the Cyphers. And like, 74%, 50%, and 6% recently started a new Cypher. This chair has 30 more seconds left, and like... Cordy just needs to perform one rescue, doesn't need to use the gun, just just do a normal rescue. You don't need to use the gun, just do a normal rescue. And then like, late, when late game comes, you can just, you know, stay close to per the down perfumer. And like, shoosh, when I pick up the perfume. And see here, the provoking mode coming out, and there the gun coming out. That allow perfumer to make more distance between me. Why? Because I have such a bad chase, Sculptor has such a bad chase. <coughs> Sculptor has nothing except for statues, and because of her nerf right now, you can dodge the statues. Like, I don't think you can dodge the statues unless you're very close to it, but like, it's dodgeable. It, it's, it's a, I'd say it's a good 70% dodgeable if you're this far away, right? But like, I got a chip there, thankfully, because she was running straight. And for this one, see? See? Look, did you see that? Perfect. That was such a perfect mind game. That was such a perfect mind game. Made me, like, uh, waste my statue once again. But then one last cipher remaining, how much do we have left? We have... You know what, they can force someone in the cipher, I don't... Like, chipping... They don't care if I chip them or not. They don't care. Because they're gonna get, like... They're gonna get, um... They're gonna get, like, their power time anyways. But do you see this now? Like... <clears throat> have I made a lot of mistakes? I don't think I did. Has the survivor kited well? Yes, they have. Has the survivor kited over 60 second blink? Yes, they have. Oh, should I be angry that I didn't win this? No, I shouldn't. And like for 
for new hunters as well, I guess it's just something that's in your mind, right? It's like, you know, hey, Blink is up, I didn't get someone down. Well, I guess I'm gonna lose this game, and then that's just in your mind. Like, it's like, you may say, oh, that's so pessimistic, Kuro. Oh, that's so pessimistic, you shouldn't say that. What I mean, instead of putting such high standards, saying, oh, I wanna win a game, and you're not playing Sculptor. Because, like, Sculptor is the only hunter that can turn a game around. Sculptor is the only hunter that can turn a game around from, like, a, four, a three cipher, four cipher Kaish. She's the only one. It's, it's not Nightmare. Nightmare has great map control. Definitely a great map control for endgame. But, like, if there's four survivors remaining, there's nothing you can do. Even if you get someone down, nothing you can do. Why? Because... Because it's because you're a single hit hunter, and if you let them slug, they can they can definitely kite you, right? You're a single hit hunter, you they can definitely kite you. They're good survivors. I'm not saying they're bad survivors. They're good survivors. And like they know how to kite. They know how to kite. Like this team banned Geisha and Wheel for all my games, and like I'm struggling this hard to win a game with Sculptor. So like, is it hunter sided or is it survivor sided? I don't know. Up to you. You can point out my mistakes in, in these games, but like I've been, I guess I, I may have slack, been slacking off a little bit, but I wouldn't say that much as well. Sculptor is not unkiteable, Sculptor is not unrescuable. And here I started lagging out, which was a little bit sad. Here I started lagging out, which was a little bit sad. And Entomologist was going over to rescue. So yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. And like, <clears throat> I started panicking here as well. I was like, oh my god, what if, what if Sleer, what if Sleer gets another L? And that was a really lucky terror shock. I will not lie. I kind of got scared that the dungeon was here as well. But it wasn't. It was near the second stop. But yeah, there you have it. These guys caught me really well. They're titans, by the way. There's It's a two band. It's a two band for me. They're titans. They don't man gate late yet. They don't man bomb bomb. It's not. They're not unkiteable. Right? And from previous comments, as a high tier survivor, I can say this is not survivor sided. I don't think that opinion matters. It's everyone's opinion, but please don't say that in my videos. Genuinely, I don't want to start a fight. It's your own opinion, keep it to yourself. But yeah, this is for Sculptor. I'll see ya.